we absolutely should take this T-Wolves team seriously because this is the T-Wolves team that we've been waiting for. I mean, they have one of the youngest but best big threes with D'Lo, Anthony Edwards, and of course, Cat. Looking inside, they lob it to Garnett beneath the foul line, the fadeaway with a hand in his face in the air for the win! Yes! With the seventh pick in the 2007 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Corey Brewer from the University of Florida. Really didn't speak publicly, really didn't say too much, you know, to my friends or any of that. Just, you know, myself, really trying to uh, be comfortable with, you know, see myself in the Celtic jersey. Hi, Mark. Thank you. And your timing could not be better at this very moment. Kevin Garnett is making his way onto the court inside the Target Center. His first time back here in Minneapolis as a member of the Celtics. The fifth pick in the 2008 NBA Draft, the Memphis Grizzlies select Kevin Love from UCLA. You always know what you're going to get from me. You know, I feel like I can be a double-double guy throughout the course of the league. There's going to be a lot of things I'll have to improve on and learn, but I think I've uh, built myself the right path. We have that tendency then to say, well, you know, I'm going to exhaust the dribble or hold the ball, which makes it hard. I think we had 14 turnovers at halftime. Wide open. Yep. Love! Big finish for the rookie! Boom. Finishes it off. Look at Vince Carter. Usually the other way around. There's a tremendous opportunity here, right now, this moment, to make this team quickly a playoff contending team and then ultimately a championship contending team. With the fifth pick, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Ricky Rubio of El Masnu, Spain. With the sixth pick, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Johnny Flynn from Syracuse University. Johnny Flynn, a point guard, not a shooting guard. What does this mean to you? Well, this is a young basketball team, and, and they're going to play a different brand. They're going to play a different style. So you expect full court pressure. You expect pushing the basketball. Not for a lack of effort. Dish in the middle. We got one. Dish. Good facial. Corey Brewer. <laughs> so Fish was worried about jumping outside of the arc. Brewer. With the fourth pick in the 2010 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Wesley Johnson of Syracuse University. 15 wins last year, how many this year? 23, 24 wins, I would say the Timberwolves win. Con, I love your honesty, 20 wins. I agree with Dennis. I think a little bit of an, a little bit of an improvement, but not much. A first time All-Star, who's leading the NBA in rebounding from the Minnesota Timberwolves, Kevin Love! There's Beasley, isolated right side. He puts it on the floor to the free throw line. Drops it for Love. Three ball the way. Got it to go! Kevin Love with a 30-30 game here tonight. 31 points, 31 rebounds. With the second pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Derek Williams from the University of Arizona. The Minnesota Timberwolves say Rick Adelman has agreed to take over as their head coach. The 65-year-old Adelman is eighth on the NBA's career wins list. He's replacing Kurt Rambis. I'm so happy to be here. The most important thing is next year I'm going to play for Minnesota. I'm going to try to help the team. I'm going to play basketball. Don't think about anything else. Just help the team to win. Minnesota's agreed to a four-year contract extension with Kevin Love. The deal is worth between 60 and $62 million. Love is in his fourth season in the league and is considered the face of the franchise. But with the continued development of Kevin Love, along with Ricky Rubio and Nikola Pekovic, all under the guidance of first-year head coach Rick Adelman, the Timberwolves, for a time, were competing for a playoff spot in the ultra-tough Western Conference. And he gets it. Kobe Bryant draws the double team running over Rubio and Ricky grabbing his left shin goes down hard. It was a two to nothing trying to win it here. Love! Got it! Oh my, oh my, oh my. Is that great basketball or what? I'm, I'm looking forward to you know, treating it as, you know, any offseason, add, adding, you know, more to my game and, um, you know, became, becoming an all-around, you know, better player in person. 4.43 left in the third. Kevin Love 
Injuring the right hand. And Wolves fans don't want to see this. That's the hand he broke. You can see him grabbing that right hand. Actually, his finger heads to the locker room. Together yes. on the floor. They've seen it three games for yes. a total of 28 minutes yeah. of change. Ricky going around his waist and up and in. What a show by the Spaniard here tonight. Timberwolves will remove David Kahn and replace him with Flip Saunders. The Timberwolves have never made the playoffs in Kahn's four-year tenure with an overall record of 89 and 233. With the 21st pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select Gorgi Jeng from Kebamer, Senegal. Kevin Martin was traded, uh, I'm sorry, not traded, he's a free agent. He's signed with the Minnesota Timberwolves, four years, $28 million. He's reuniting with his head coach, Rick Adelman, who he had in Houston. Does he make the plays that win the basketball game? Not nearly enough. So I'm saying I, I see, I, I guess I could give him a star on a bad team, but, but there's no superstar there. Kevin Love reportedly ready to move out of Minnesota. Love has made it clear to the Timberwolves he does intend to become an unrestricted free agent after next season has no interest in a contract extension with Minnesota. Then obviously Flip has plenty of coaching experience himself in his president of basketball operations role, but you know, I, I don't think it would shock anyone around the league if ultimately Flip did decide to go downstairs and take over himself. With the 13th pick, in the 2014 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Zach Levine from UCLA. Kevin Love mm -hmm. made it very, very clear to the Minnesota Timberwolves and to everybody involved that he was not going to sign with anyone after this upcoming season but Cleveland. I think they might be a better basketball team with these young guys around a guy like Rubio. But right. long term here, absolutely. Let's see what these young guys can do running with Rubio. He leaves his former home in Brooklyn for a homecoming, returning to the team he spent his first 12 seasons with. KG was drafted fifth overall by the Wolves in 1995 and played a dozen years in the Twin Cities before being traded to Boston. Wiggins. And that means that the number one pick in the 2015 NBA Draft goes to the Minnesota Timberwolves. With the first pick in the 2015 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Carl Anthony Towns from the University of Kentucky. Successful basketball coach Philip Flip Saunders died Sunday from Hodgkin's lymphoma. Saunders was an NBA head coach for 20 years, 10 of which were with Kevin Garnett and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Either way you watch this team, it's going to be fun. Look at these highlights we're seeing right now. I mean, so many young, talented players that we're all excited for. There's going to be a lot of blemishes. They're going to go through a lot of bumps, but it's going to be fun to watch. Steal by Ricky, good anticipation. Got to be Blake. He's got KG trailing the play. Woo! Kevin Garnett with a th thunderous duck. They're going to call a technical foul on Garnett. He was officially introduced as the Timberwolves' new head coach and president of basketball operations. Now, there's no official count on how many times Tibbs said the Wolves had more than enough to win. Made a with choice. the fifth pick in the 2016 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Chris Dunn from Providence College. So they won 29 games last year. It's only going to go up. Carl Anthony Towns was selected in the annual preseason NBA GM survey as the guy most GMs would want to start a franchise with in year number two. And then he'll be back right before the holidays for Christmas. What a move there by Towns. Dropping the hammer right over Embiid. What a play, Carl Anthony Towns. These young guys are, are really, really, really talented. Um, I'm just here to push them to the best of their abilities. Each and every day in work, which is all you can ask for. And um, we're going to put this thing together the right way. We're going to get this city on track. They open up, uh, even they still have 15 million left in cap space. Mm -hmm. They can go out and chase other players. This is their move. They're, they're uh, going to make a move to end their 13-year playoff drought. They're not catching the Warriors, but look at this. In the last couple of days, they've added a couple of former All-Stars. 
When asked by the crossover whether he's worthy of a max contract from the Timberwolves, his reply was, quote, I definitely do. Nothing less. Wiggins averaged 23 points, 4 rebounds, and 2 assists per game last season. The shooting isn't necessarily there. The defense hasn't been there either. Even though Fibs is the coach, they're counting a lot on the familiarity with Butler and Gibson to kind of teach those guys. It's going to take a little bit, and mm -hmm. if they stumble at all, they're kind of behind the eight ball. Wiggins drives across midcourt. Andrew lets it fly at the buzzer for the lead. Andrew Wiggins backs it in, and the Timberwolves, an unbelievable win here in Oklahoma City. Let's see here, Butler, well, Nene landed on his leg, but seemed all right there. You wonder if it was there on the non-contact on the plant. Um, I think I could play with anybody, to tell you the truth. Um, I know the game. I'm not a selfish player, and I'm not here for stats or anything like that. I just want to win. I'm still here playing. I'm still, I still love the game. Three seconds. One second. The drought is finally over. Thirteen years of disappointment and frustration has come to an end. Game and series to the top-seeded Houston Rockets. Harden tonight with 24 and 12, five rebounds. Toxic relationship that he's had uh, that's devolved with Carl Anthony Towns. That's a part of it. There's an overall uh, sense of dysfunction around this organization that Jimmy Butler feels. Carl Anthony Towns, and he's not going to be leaving Minnesota anytime soon. The All-Star Center agreed to that five-year, $190 million Supermax extension to remain with the Wolves through the 2023-24 season. At one point in the scrimmage, sources says, Butler, Butler turned to GM Scott Layden and screamed, You bleeping need me! You can't win without me! Butler left teammates and coaches largely speechless. He dominated the gym in every way. Jimmy's back, said the source. I told you how he felt about Carl Anthony Towns. I told you how he felt about Andrew Wiggins. And what happened yesterday? He strolls into practice after he didn't get the trade that he wanted. So what he did was give them a taste of what life is going to be like. I mean, people get whatever they want to say out. It is what it is. But I think I'm a, I think that I'm an incredible human being, teammate. And um, I'll show that to the guys that are here. This has been some time in the making uh, between Tom Thibodeau and uh, ownership. Once the Jimmy Butler saga started to unravel, that was the beginning of the end for Tom Thibodeau in Minnesota. Exum has it blocked in the corner by who else? Derek, 2011 MVP, Rose. And everybody just streams out on the floor to, to greet him, showing the respect. We want a sustainable model that's going to have success. We want to consistently be a winning team that gets in the playoffs and has the foundation to compete for a championship and to do something here that hasn't been done. With the sixth pick in the 2019 NBA Draft, the Phoenix Suns select Jarrett Culver from Texas Tech University. We want to win. If you want to win, you, if you want to win, if you want to be okay, possibly make the playoffs and stuff, then it's cool. Every single person has stepped up to the plate and said they want to be great and do great things here in Minnesota. Carl Anthony Towns wanted to have D'Angelo Russell as his point guard, and now he has him, and Andrew Wiggins goes to Golden State and really needed a point guard the way that Minnesota did. Towns puts it on the deck. Towns with the stuff! Carl Anthony Towns! Hit an extra gear here! So again, he's got Steve Adams, and there's an overloaded side. The second pick goes to the Golden State Warriors, and that means that the number one pick in the 2020 NBA Draft goes to the Minnesota Timberwolves. With the first pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Anthony Edwards from the University of Georgia. I'm a rookie. It's these guys' team. They brought me here to play a role, whatever role that is. I'm gonna be a star at that role. So no matter what they need me to do, I'm gonna do it. I'm not expecting the ball to be in my hands. So I don't really care about that. Chris Finch has been around for a long time. He was an assistant in Houston, started out his career as an assistant in Houston. I respect the fact that this man is given an opportunity. It's not like he didn't have any coaching experience whatsoever. Ooh, they were lucky that wasn't turned over. Anthony Edwards, that time he does finish with the exclamation point. 
And the idea of bringing him in, you know, to a roster that's still, you know, fairly young and developing, bringing his leadership, his toughness, certainly his ability to defend the ball and play a role on that team. Could move in the direction that they want them to move, and that's uplifting that program. We, we can't lie. I mean, Minnesota has been at the very bottom for a while now, and it's time for, for new life. They realize, listen, we're a group that has the accumulated talent. You've got two number one draft picks, right? And so they finally locked in. When you have those three pieces, Anthony Edwards, Carl Anthony Towns, and D'Angelo Russell, I expect this group to do some things this year. We absolutely should take this T-Wolves team seriously because this is a T-Wolves team that we've been waiting for. I mean, they have one of the youngest, but best big threes with D'Lo, Anthony Edwards, and of course, Kat. Listen. And they move into the second round for the first time in seven years as Minnesota suffers another heartbreaking loss in what otherwise was a terrific season for these young Timberwolves. Minnesota has Carl Anthony Towns that can dribble, pass, and shoot. D'Angelo Russell, when he's healthy, can score the ball. And Anthony Edwards is an athletic freak. I like what they're doing in Minnesota. That's something special to build on.